Hello? Uh, hello, Jason? Yes, is this... Yeah, can you hear me, Jason? Yeah, can you hear me all right? Yes, yes. I have, uh, this is Jason. I have on, on the line here. Hello? Perfect. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, uh, you can hear me. Can you all hear me? I hear yeah, you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great, great. All right. Uh, okay, well, uh, uh, listen, I, uh, I had a conversation with the underwriting department, uh, uh, and uh, they're looking at this right now. Uh, they were One of the concerns was the uh, property being in a rural area, but I, I told them it's halfway between um, uh, Omaha, um, um, is it Columbus and Omaha? I yeah. guess so. Uh, you're, right. you're trying to reason you're triangulated yeah. between Omaha, Lincoln, and Columbus, and you're right. It's oh, not. It's not in a metropolitan like a, a Houston or a New York or a Los Angeles. Uh, that's right. the reality of the situation, which is why, in full candor, my hunch says this deal is going to get done with a local financial institution within a thirty square mile radius of of the asset itself. That's in full candor, my hunch. But that said. Be, and the reason is because they understand the local market and they realize this deal, it, it makes a lot of sense. The local market is such that there's a big, big, big demand for affordable housing. You're next to one of the biggest manufacturers in probably a 30 or 40 mile radius of, of the asset itself. You're literally next door to it. So the, right. lo the local underwriters and the local bankers really like the deal. That's candidly where we're at. Now, that said, um, we're going to go with, with the group that makes sense for us both on this deal and with the subsequent deals we're looking to get done in the future. So I'm completely open to exploring the possibilities, but that's exactly right. It's located in, that's, that's where the, the asset itself right. is located. Right. Right. Well, they, they like the, I mean, they like the net, uh, potential, I mean, net income. Uh, and, um, I, I'm going to get back with you on this, but, uh, I want to ask you a question. I don't, I don't think we'll, I don't, I'm not sure at this point if we're going to be able to match the, uh, the terms and rates that, um, uh, the uh, the the seller is going to get offer you. Um, I mean, we'll we'll see what we could do there. Are, are you kind of looking for more or less a permanent type loan, or or do you mind like uh, uh, a shorter shorter term loan, or uh, uh, what, what do you what do you what what's what, what is your plan? What what do you what do you what do you want? Uh, sure. Um, yeah. Sure. We want to buy and hold. We're not looking to do an interest-only payment, payment and flip it. We want to buy and hold. We uh, okay. we're comfortable with a five or a seven-year note. We'd prefer a seven, uh, but but understand the local market and, and the nature of things, and understand a five-year note might make sense. Uh, interest okay. rate interest rate is going to be one of our key variables because the seller has agreed to match the interest rate that we procure oh. on our first lien note. So by keeping that interest rate fairly low. It, it, it increases our debt coverage ratio substantially. It ensures there's more free cash flow. It ensures this deal never gets tight. So interest rate is going to be probably the the big, maybe the biggest variable. Um, you know, mm -hmm. that's that's going to be a big one. We'd like longer years. We'd like a 20-year. We'd like to, the note to amortize over 20 years so that we can build considerable equity in the deal. Uh those are going to be some of the main things we're looking for. We're, we're, we're comfortable putting six figures into the deal. We're comfortable putting, um, you know, I think it was noted by your underwriting uh, department that you guys, if we worked with you, would like 15% uh, of our own capital into the deal. That's something we can do. It's something, you know, heretofore, we have the seller that's in for 275. That is 21% of the capital stack. We are, you know, absolutely going to put in at least a hundred, which is about 9% of the capital stack. Now I happen to think we can get uh, a financial institution to go 70% loan to cost because when I think we get the appraiser out, I think this deal is going to price out at higher than the $1.275 million uh, price we've locked in. I think it has a little bit more value than that. We're buying it at about uh, just under a 12 cap. And I think the local market is dictating about an, uh, maybe an 11 or a 10 and a half cap for it. So I think we're going to be able to get a financial institution to go 70% loan to cost. But that said, um, we're open to all our options. And at this point, we're exploring uh, our different financing options and we'll, we'll proceed accordingly. Okay. Uh, what, what is the occupancy right now on, on this particular? Uh, I saw some vacant, uh, you know, lots. Um, 
We're at 80 percent or 85 or 90. We're well above uh, 85. We're well above 90. I think he's at about 98 percent here. If you look at the 2019 unit turnover. um, Yeah, it was something like that. Okay. Yeah, you sent me that. That's right. I didn't look. I looked. We're real, I just looked at, real yeah. high. There's a there's a over the last ten years, his his average occupancy. If you look at it, I believe I sent you the ten year vacancy report. You'll go down to the bottom and look. <laughs> these numbers are subject to official due diligence. We've yet to sign a purchase of sale agreement. We're iron, ironing out the details, but you'll see his <laughs> average vacancy over the last ten years is at ninety four point two five percent. You'll see that in twenty eighteen, for example. His, his average occupancy was over 97%. And I think over yeah. the last uh, 365 days, he's been at over 98%. So it's it's a very uh, it's a very stabilized, it's kind of a quote-unquote turnkey uh, property in that it's it produces revenue. Okay. And, and, uh, and, 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 and every individual that's, um, they, they own their own mobile home, is that correct? Or, in- incorrect. Or? Incorrect. Oh, no. It's, it's all park-owned. Well, it's all park owned. Oh, it's all park owned. Oh, I see. Okay. That's why you're okay. turning. That's why you're turning 205k off of 33 lots. There's no way right, in, in Nebraska right. you yeah. would turn over 200k in revenue off of 33 no. lots if they were all tenant owned homes. I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, yep. that's, that sounds good. Uh, and, and and they have their own. Uh, I, I think I noticed on the aerial they have their own uh, septic plant uh, facility. I mean septic plant. It looks. I, I think I saw something like that. It's is that correct? Septic plant yeah. is kind of mixing terms because you have treatment plants, which is a private sewer treatment. system that requires a lot of maintenance. This doesn't have a treatment plant. It has a septic tanks. I think there are, oh. oh gosh, how many septic tanks are there? I'm not exactly certain. But when you're talking oh, okay. private utilities, septic in, in a treatment plant is, is not the same animal. But it's not city sewer. Oh. It's not city sewer. Oh. So you're right. You're right. Okay, it, 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 okay, it is septic. I, I thought it's, it was a treatment plant. No, yeah, it's septic. I'm mobile. I'm, I'm familiar. Sometimes the mobile home park has their own treatment facility, or, or um, okay, great. Um, okay, I think I uh, I, I have a, a, a little bit, you know, enough questions there. Uh, I just uh, I'm I'm um, I'll tell you what. I'll get back with you. I'll, I'll it's it, you know it's Friday. Uh, I, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk to them and see what what they what we have uh, what what they have to offer, um, and. Um, and, and your credit is, is pretty good. I mean, you're, you mentioned your credit's really, really good. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm over, yeah. over, well over 700, no matter what of the, uh, whichever the reports you're okay. using. Now, candidly, and I can send you, I think you've seen our executive summary, uh, this purchase will probably be made ultimately under the corporation, which has uh, a plethora of different individuals that will have a partial equity stake in the business. Now, I'm the principal. I'm okay. going to be the guy owning the 51%. So, Depending on how things iron out, look, I believe in the deal enough to sign on it. I'll put it that way, and I'm comfortable doing so, despite the fact that some of my advisors are telling me, Jason, you can get away without signing. Um, but we want to get the deal done, so we're not going to get uh, we're not going to get nitpicky there. But yeah, there, there's uh, there's a strong financial history regarding the individuals on the team and, and myself included. There is uh, what else could I say? There's of course going to be some of our own capital that's going to be put in. On top of the fact okay. that the seller is is financing twenty one percent of the deal, so we're not asking, we're not exactly asking a financial institution to over leverage themselves. At the most, we're going to get seventy one percent loan to cost, which you know, financial institutions put that sixty five to seventy five percent LTV on their website that they can do. So we're not exactly asking for the farm here. The debt coverage ratio, uh, in our base case, is over one hundred twenty five percent, and that's that's a pretty conservative. That's with pretty conservative base case number uh, expenses. We're probably at about 135 percent when you really, uh, when you really actually, you know, take out That's the real the conservative nature of it. Yeah, right. it, this deal makes money. Okay, okay, sounds good. Sounds like a pretty good uh, uh, investment. Uh, you know, the, the size and everything. It looks looks pretty good. All right. Well, um, I I think if I have any more questions, I'll get back. We let me make sure we can do this deal. Um, and, and you know. Uh, with what you're requesting, uh, I'll, I'll get back with you uh, this, uh, you know, coming week. Uh, so, all right. Um, okay. Uh, I'll be in touch. Anything else? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you a little later. Okay. And let me ask okay. you real quickly, since we're here, and we'll make this persnickety. Yeah. I know it's Friday and everybody's looking to get out, but I'll just yeah. make it be known, as, as I stated before, um, 
if this is going to be on the the hard hard money continuum or, or a private investment continuum, I know what that generally means. It means your interest uh, rate is, is right. seven, eight, nine percent. Look, I'll I'll just be straight with you, and maybe this means the conversation dies here. And and if it does, I I understand everybody's in in the everybody's in business to to do what they need to do, and and everybody has their own niche. But uh, we really yeah. we really won't consider um, doing a deal with an interest rate over candidly six and a half percent if it's over six and a half percent and that might be a deal breaker for you guys and if it is i understand but given the fact that the seller's in for 21 percent and that he's going to match the first lien note as i shared with you before that's going to be a key variable we look at so look we're not trying to nickel and dime you we want to get this deal done and we want to make sure everybody's comfortable but if we're talking about a first lien note at seven or seven and a half or eight percent um, it's just not going to make sense so i just want to make that known and if that's something your underwriters come back to you and say hey we like it but but we don't have enough comfort with the local market or this or that or, or whatever, uh, just know that, that that's where we stand. That's our, our quote-unquote BATNA, is we really won't. Uh, we like 20-year amortization. We're okay with a five-year note. We'd prefer seven. Uh, and we won't go higher than a 6.5%. We're really confident that the local banks are going to definitely explore that. So that's where we stand. So I just want to be straight and save everybody time and let you know that's where sure. that's where we're dancing. And if you guys want to come to the party and dance with us, we'd love to continue the conversation and, and proceed. Thank you for your honesty. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cut right All to right. It. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, all right. You have a great weekend then. Okay. Take care. Right. Bye-bye. All right.